so here in the main menu of Block Ops, we have a few different options. We have Continue, New Campaign, and Options. We'll just do New Campaign so I can show you from the beginning. Now, the game is kind of glitchy right now, so it will be hard to kind of show you. It's It could be a very well-built game, although the developers have a lot of work to do on it. It's kind of like a Minecraft here, so to speak, but you run around and your whole objective is to shoot your opponents. Uh, you can move along around just by uh, using this little dialogue thing here. You see, just tap where you want to move. To uh, look around, you just swipe. Uh, to lock onto a target, to zoom in, you press that. And then that's the shoot there. Okay, so you just want to go and find your opponents. I'm going the wrong way here. Sorry about that. It is kind of hard to move in this game, I must say. The developer could have made an analog stick. It would have been a lot easier. Although this is a great idea for, idea, uh, idea for a game. Sorry about that. So you can see here some people. Alright, so let me get in. Alright, so I got him. Let's get this guy. So the controls are hard. Uh, I'd imagine they're a lot easier on the iPad. I haven't played this game on iPad. Although I would uh, imagine they are a lot better. It's almost impossible to get them if you're not zoomed in. A lot harder. So you can see if we uh, press up there, we can resume or we can save and quit. You, that's a nice part about this game. You can save. I like that. So the people are almost like card, cardboard. The maps are pretty well built, I must say, for a 99 cent game. It's kind of more of a target practice game than like, uh, I guess, a real campaign game. Alright, so that's not the right way. I'll go through the door here. It's obviously not the right way either. I don't think you can open doors in here. Let me see. Uh, it appears no. Let me go this way. Alright, here we go. So I just missed it there on the side. If you let them uh, shoot you enough, you will come to an end. A bad part about this game is I haven't been able to find a, a health meter. You just go along with what the blood is there. I don't really like that, so you can see it just says that when you're about to die. I'd much rather have a meter that tells you when you're about to die. I'd prefer that a lot. Oh, so you can see I just got shot up there. I did die. I'll try one more time though for you guys. So you can see I'm going to have to start all over here. Sorry about the camera angle today too. My tripod is having uh it actually broke, so it is hard to get a good camera angle with it. I'll be getting a new one hopefully soon. I love making videos for you guys as you can already tell. Somebody's shooting at me. Uh oh. So you can see the game just lagged there. That's also a big problem with this game. It does lag from time to time where you won't be able to zoom in or shoot. So if the developer could fix a lot of things on this game, it could be very well. Overall, I give Black Ops two stars out of five. It's not a very good game right now. It's not very fun. But it is a great idea for a game. It's also very glitchy. The developer could work a lot on this game. In the end, it could be a very good game if he works a lot on it. 
Although right now it's not a good game, I wouldn't even pick it up if it was free. But it could be a great game though. I listed a few ideas for what the developer could do and fix. It is very glitchy right now too, so that's also a reason not to get it. Please follow me on Twitter for updates, as well as checking the website, theappexpert.com, for the full in-depth app review. And please be sure to subscribe to me here on YouTube for more app reviews. Thanks, guys.